Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an everyday get ready with me, sort of my current makeup routine, um, but using very minimal products. And these are products that I've been using a lot recently. Um, a lot of them are from Glossier. This video is not sponsored by them at all, but I've just been loving their products. They are a US based brand that really values skin over makeup, and I just really like that because really no makeup will look good unless you're really taking care of your skin and you're you know the base of I guess all of your makeup is just clear and you know the best that it can be with your own effort um, so I just really like what they stand for I've been using a lot of their products also I am back in Hong Kong obviously you can tell from the background um, I I'm back for the summer. I am done with my first year of college. It was very exciting um, and I can't wait to see what's next in the upcoming years. I know I'm going to be so busy though, so I'm definitely looking forward to filming more videos over the summer. I will be in Hong Kong for three months. If there are any specific uh, videos that you want to see from me, please let me know um, what videos those are and you know, comment down below and tell me. Also let me know if you want an in-depth review on Glossier products because I do have quite a few and I did not mention everything that I have from them in this video So if you want to see a more in-depth one on the entire brand and all the products that I do own um, Let me know because I would love to film it if you guys want to see it So I think that is all I wanted to say in the intro This is also going to be a series that I will be doing for the next I think three or four weeks I'll be doing at least one video per week and this first video obviously is a very minimal simple makeup that I have been doing almost every single day just as my everyday makeup routine um, I also have some other go-to makeup looks that I will be filming soon I am filming another one tomorrow because I'm planning on you know putting on a little bit more makeup than I have on right now and I also will have I think two other looks I'm also just you know really gravitating towards recently just for certain occasions and events so I hope you guys enjoy the series and let's get into it so the first thing I'm going to start off with is concealing my skin and just any imperfections or you know dark circles that I want to cover up so I'm just going to use the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade Medium. And all I do is just take a really little bit from the pot and I just like to dab it in the areas that I want to conceal. And this concealer is very, very emollient and it's very creamy. So it just blends into your skin very, very seamlessly. I just feel like it helps to brighten up my under eye area a lot more and I like to apply a second layer just focused in the darkest parts. I'm sure if you have really really dry skin this concealer would be perfect for you to just slap on your face before you head out the door if you just want something very very minimal like very very no makeup like but because my skin isn't dry it's more combination it does tend to get oily especially here in Hong Kong the weather is just so much more humid. I like to set this down with some powder. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to apply this to my under eyes. Just like this. And I'm only applying it where I put my concealer down and immediately the powder just sets the concealer, brightens up the area so much. And I like to have almost no product so I'll literally swirl it in the cap just to get most of the excess off and just really in the brush and then I'll brush it on to my face and I like to stamp so it doesn't rub any of the concealer away now that my under eyes are looking a little bit more bright I am also going to conceal any imperfections on my face and I have like two breakouts right here probably from all the traveling because I did have a 15 hour flight back home <laughs> from New York to here and this concealer is literally so easy you can see me just literally taking a little bit and just dotting on any areas that I want to either brighten up or just sort of cover up and I do have some scarring here just from older breakouts um, so I generally just like to stamp it on and it literally just disappears into my skin. Sometimes just for like an everyday look, I love just having very fresh dewy skin. But I will set the concealer on areas like here where I want to 
not have concealer rub away during the day. And so I'll just set right here at the fronts of my cheeks, just on my nose, my forehead, especially right here in the front. And that way my complexion already looks so much brighter. Okay, so now I like to go to my brows because I always feel like my brows just look a little bit too light now because I'm kind of used to filling them in. So I like to use the Glossier Boy Brow. And as you can see, I just brush this through my brows and it just already looks a little bit darker and thicker than the other eyebrow. And so I just like to shape it a little bit. And already you can tell that this side of my face, my eyebrows just look a lot more structured, a lot more like filled in and darker. And this side is just a little less. Eyebrows definitely help to shape your face as well. I just feel like it really just helps to give my face a little bit more structure, especially when I'm not putting on that much makeup. Yeah, so I feel like my eyebrows are more even now. I like to keep them kind of imperfect. I don't really have to go in and shape it and add more to the front or whatever I normally do. Um, I just like to keep it the way the natural shape is and just sort of fill it in with some like clear, or not clear, this is colored brow gel that has little bits of fiber in it that really help to thicken your eyebrows. So now my eyebrows are done. I feel like I'm a little bit more put together now. Um, now onto the cheeks. I generally like to use two cheek products from Glossier when I use them because I feel like these are a little bit too pink and too um, like bright looking on my cheeks and this just really helps to tone down the color so what I like to do is start with the toning down of the color um, and it's sort of like a peachy brown color that just really helps to give a little bit more shape and dimension to your face which I usually like to do with bronzer but because I'm not putting on bronzer today I like to do with a little bit of this product which is the glossy cloud paint in the shade dusk and so I am going to take just the tiniest bit of this. You really need very little. That's already a little too much. And I just like to dab this just right on the sides of my cheek. And already you can see, I like to bring it up a little bit into my temples as well because it just blends really well and gives my face more shape. And that's literally all I do with, I guess, the bronzer, so. And this is the side that doesn't have anything, you know, not much shape. The side, there's a bit more of a shadow, more shape, more definition. So I like that. And I'm just going to take some of this side. So now your face has a little bit more color, a little bit more structure to it. Now I like to add some pink into the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to go with the lighter shade today because I'm feeling a little bit, I don't know, bubblegum pink. Just going to take a little bit right here and I literally just focus it in this area. And it looks really natural. You can just see a little bit of pink peeking through. I'm just going to take some here as well. And as you can see now, my complexion is just looking a little bit more glowy, healthier, and it just looks very fresh on my face. So now I'm going to move to highlight, which is something that I really, really like. Um, I have two of their Halo Scope highlighters. Um, I have it in Topaz and in Quartz. Um, I generally like to use Quartz, so I'm actually going to use a little bit of Quartz not too much and I'm literally just gliding this I'm literally just going to glide it on my cheekbones I'm not sure if you can see the highlight but I am going to blend it and sort of diffuse the color so it's not a very stark highlight but you can definitely tell there's a bit of glow going on this definitely isn't like a Becca opal sort of highlight it's more of like a inner glow kind of dewy highlight, which I'm kind of liking a little bit more recently. 
then just sort of blend out the color. Um, and with whatever's left on my fingers, I just like to bring into um, my brow bone. And it just adds a little bit of glow into there, which you can't really tell, but sometimes you can. So I like that. It just adds a little bit of a difference. Um, and generally, that will be it. I'll just add a little bit of lip balm. Um, and usually I'm already out the door going to school. But... Um, I am going to add a little bit more today because I am going to go out to dinner later with um, my parents. <laughs> so I want to add a little bit of eyeliner and maybe a stronger highlight. Um, actually, maybe not highlight. I'm going to add a nose highlight maybe. Um, add some eyeliner. Add a lip color. So I'm actually going to add the lip color right now because it is a Glossier product and everything else afterwards isn't. Um, and I kind of want to talk about Glossier first. So um, I really like these Generation G lipsticks. Um, I have the shade Leo and the shade Jam. I like both. I am going to use this other one today which is the shade Jam. And it looks like a really really dark color. But all I'm going to do is stamp this on my lips and it gives a very pretty stained look to your lips. So, I already have some lip balm on my lips, so the lipstick isn't going on as strong as it would go on if I had dry lips. It just adds a little bit of healthy color. Okay, so I'm now going to add some eyeliner, and um, I'm actually trying out this new eyeliner today, which is the Dolly Wink like super dark eyeliner. I don't know if you remember, but two videos ago I showed myself trying to use my old Dolly Wink eyeliner and I actually ran out. So I recently bought this one when I came back to Hong Kong. And this one is a different color because I think it's like a darker black than the one that I was using before, which I didn't even know existed until my roommate told me about it. So I'm just going to do my eyeliner really quick. And I don't know if you can tell the difference between this eye and this eye, but this eye definitely looks bigger, brighter, more awake, and just definitely more defined. This eye, so it's really different. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a wing. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner already on, I'm going to add a little bit of a nose highlight today. Um, and I'm using the ColourPop highlighter in Monster. And I'm just taking this right down the bridge of my nose and just right at the tip as well. This is a very different highlighter to the ones that I've used in the past. This one is definitely more pearlized and holographic. It actually just gives a pink shimmer to the skin and it's very subtle, like I don't even know how to describe it. It somehow just makes you look very, very luminous, which I really like. So this is a great highlighter, and it's actually a lot more obvious in person than it is online, because literally it just looks like I don't have highlighter, or it's just a very white highlighter which is not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this talk through makeup look. Um, I haven't done a talk through tutorial in a really long time. It is a little bit trickier to film and a little bit trickier to edit as well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more of these like talk through videos, let me know. I am filming another go-to look tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. That will probably come in the next week after this video has been uploaded. Um, I am planning to film a little bit more in the next coming weeks because I mean I'm gonna be here for the next three months so I'll have more go-to looks um, coming for the future so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later bye also let me know if you want to see an in-depth in-depth uh, I literally bleh, oh my god I literally can't talk today <sighs> so let me know if you want in also let me know if you want an in-depth so if there are any like specific, uh, if there are